I used to date a beauty queen. Now I got my M16. Now I got my M16. We're here, Iraq Veterans Against the War, doing a guerrilla street theater. We're calling it Operation First Casualty. This first casualty of war is truth. So we're, we're bringing a little reality of the war back home on the, the fifth, start of the fifth year of the occupation in Iraq to show people here in D.C. as business as usual what it's like to be in an occupation and, and what are some of the experiences that uh, combat soldiers in Iraq have faced. All right, we're good. We're good. Well, I really disagreed with the war before I went, but I went because I thought, you know, that's what soldiers did. That's what soldiers do. But the reality of it is that you know, it's up to the American people to make sure that our military isn't used as a, as, uh, a bad tool. Our, our military is a tool of this democracy and it has to be used correctly. And when it's not, it's up to the people to make sure that they reel in our government. We're trying to be as realistic as possible with our patrols here in uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, we're taking precautions so it's safe for us, safe for the people around us. Um, we don't mind getting people a little worried so they, they see like what the reality of war is. So we're trying to be loud, we're trying to be extreme, but uh, we also want to be safe as possible. Stay still! Bring him out! Head the other way! Get head the other way! Don't bring him out! Shut up! There's a combat patrol just rolling down the mall over at the, the Capitol and it really is a accurate representation, even if it's just in a small fraction of what it's like to live I'm under an occupation. Oh, hey, get your head on the ground! Stop moving! Stop moving! Don't you freaking move. mess around, huh? Iraq Veterans Against the War, we call for three very simple things. The first is an immediate withdrawal of all occupying forces from Iraq. The second thing that we call for is to make sure that the troops are taken care of when they get home. And the third thing that we call for is reparations to be paid to the Iraqi people. Don't mess around! Give me your head! Hey, stay with me. We're going to move. Gonna move the U.S. forces in Iraq are no longer seen as peacekeepers, if they ever were. They're seen as occupiers, and it's undermining our ability to make Iraq safer, make the world safer, and make America safer. We're losing the global war on terror while we have troops occupying Iraq. So that's, that's one of the strongest messages we want to bring home, is that the neglect and abuse of the Iraqi people is, is making them, basically, is motivating the insurgency and motivating the resistance. And that has to end before there's any peaceful resolution in Iraq. Hey, brother, go, go, go. Hey, move out, move out, move out.